Okay, so as you absolute gaming connoisseurs should know, um, the Nintendo Switch only has HDMI output on it. So, uh, it can only, in theory, it can only connect to a, a very late CRT or a modern LCD TV like this. Some projection TVs also had HDMI, but we don't have one of those right now. Um, let me demonstrate the HDMI functionality quickly. Get some controllers connected. Bam. Come on. There we go. Cool. Just the A button. We're just gonna go. I'm there for now. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're going to get a composite video working on this thing. How you do that is you get one of these devices right here. Uh, you can find these in places like eBay and Amazon. It's an HDMI number two AV. Oh my gosh. That annoys me so much. But yeah, you can find other versions of this. Make sure it's not HDMI. Make sure it's not AV to HDMI because that converts it up to HDMI, not down to composite. Anyway. So what you need to do is you need to connect this to the HDMI output of the Nintendo Switch. Like so. Get the TV down. Heck. So as you can see, there's where we there's where it inputs. We're gonna unplug it. We're gonna get this box. And then we're gonna plug the box into there. Let me do that quick. Now I have the little HDMI converter box hooked up on there. Now we need to get some AV cables connected to that. Let me do that quick. There. Now we have some AV cables connected to there. And here's the other end. Now, there's an AV input on this TV. So what we need to do is we need to connect it into there. So let me do that quickly. I can hear the TV making sounds. It does not sound happy. Um, okay. Now we have the AV connected. Now, we can flip the TV back up, change the input to AV, and we should have a nice uh, composite video. Get the TV back up here. There we go. Okay. The TV's fine, don't worry. But now I need to grab the remote for it, and change it to AV. We should get our signal back. And wow, that's, um, that's AV, all right. Look, at <laughs> that looks, um, completely horrible on this TV. But no one wants to see AV on this a a LCD. Okay, because that's scrolling. Look at that. Wow. Anyway, let's go back to Tetris. Uh, but you guys want to see it on a CRT like that. So let me hook that up quickly and show you what it looks like on there. Unplug that. Unplug that.
Now we have this connected to a cathode ray tube display from 2004. Power it up. And it should come to life. There it is. Look at that. Now change it to AV. And would you look at that? We have that going. The only inputs on this TV, as I mentioned in my uh, CRT collection video, are RF and composite. So, have this legitimately running on a CRT TV. And it doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty bad on the LCD, but that's because it's an LCD. I need to turn the sound up on this. Scrolling doesn't look bad either. Nice and snappy. But we can go even further. We can go even further than something like this. We can go to something like this. So let me get that connected now. Okay, now we have it connected to this 5-inch monochrome CRT. Whoops, I forgot to connect the composite input. Hold on, let me do that. And bam, we have that on a black and white monochrome TV. I just said two different ways to say monochrome. 5.5 inch monochrome CRT, there we go. And bam, there you go. That's how you can connect a Nintendo Switch to any TV that has a composite input. So, yeah. Um, it's always, I, I do weird stuff on this channel. <laughs> so, cool. Uh, I'll just leave you with um, me going into Tetris on this uh, TV. <sighs> okay. Turn it down a little bit. Also, for some reason, this TV can go really loud. So loud that it'll, like, drown out the speaker and bass. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> so that's all I have uh, right now.